Do you want to be happy? Do you want to be happier? Well, you've come to the right place then. Because my name is Gabby and I am a very, very, very happy human being. It's rainy, it's cloudy, it's muddy, it's, it's sunshine and rainbows or it's thundering. I'm going to be happy. I'm healthy, I'm sick, I have a cold, I have a headache, I got injured. I'm going to be happy. Something shitty happened, I broke something, I stepped in a poo, I... whatever shitty situation happened, I may be upset for about three to five minutes, but then I'm happy. So if you are looking to get happier or if you're looking to just get happy, I'm gonna share with you my top five tips and things that I do on a daily basis that help me live a much happier life. Because I am happy, 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 and I want you to be happy too. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you do enjoy these tips, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, everything health, fitness, and motivation related. Let's get started. So first things first, make a gratitude list. I make a gratitude list every single morning. You don't have to write it down if you don't want to. I do write mine down because I feel like I can visually see all the things I'm grateful for. But the way it works is the second you get up and get out of bed, you take a piece of paper and you start listing all the things you are grateful for. Now, if you are new to writing a gratitude list, you don't have to start by writing 50 or 80 things you are grateful for because you need to build it up little by little. So the first morning you might write down three things you're grateful for and then and the second morning you might write down five things you're grateful for and every single day you can build on it little by little. So you start off by writing I am so thankful for and then you fill in the blank. I am so thankful for my family, for my partner, for my school, for my healthy body, my bones, my healthy eyes and eyesight. It is so easy for us to take things for granted and only focus on something that we don't have or something that we are lacking or something that the other person has that we don't have. And let me tell you this, I am 100% percent sure that you have more things to be grateful for than you think. This routine in the morning will remind you how grateful you are and how many things you have to be grateful for. Do it, it's amazing. You start off your day with a grateful heart. You don't take things for granted and you really focus on the things that you do have instead of focusing on what you don't have. I love it. Tip number two, say bye-bye to negative people. Now, before you say it, I am not telling you to like get rid of all the friends that you have because they're being negative or they're complaining or if your co-workers are being very negative, I'm not telling you to quit your job, but who you surround yourself with, you become. If you're only surrounding yourself with people that are negative and they're complaining and you know things are never good or you know there's never enough of this, there's never enough of that, Probably you have adopted the same mentality. Probably you are engaging in these conversations with them. So if you really want to start living a happier life, if you really want to take control of your happiness, and by the way, you have to be selfish about your happiness. Don't let other people affect your happiness. You have to be selfish about it. Make happiness your priority. You are responsible for your happiness and don't let other people steal that away from you or affect your happiness in any other way. Spend less time with negative people and get yourself some happy friends. You know, if if you don't have a community of friends that are very happy or positive, you know, maybe go to a fitness class and meet some people, go to a yoga class, meet some people, go to a book club, you know, engage yourself in activities that maybe normally you don't do because I promise you, you are going to meet other people, you are going to meet different people and it's a great idea to surround yourself with people that are happy and positive and you know, if you're not as happy or positive, it would be great for you to learn from them or see what they're like and why are they so happy? Why are they so positive? Because as I said, who you surround yourself with, you become. Tip number three, do more of what you love. Because let's be real, you may love, you know, going biking, you may love skateboarding, you may love reading, you may love going to the beach, but life sometimes gets in the way, you know, if it's work, if it's your family, if it's your kid, or if it's, you know, not being close enough to the beach make time to do the things that you love because we get so preoccupied with the daily things we need to do that we end up not making time for the things that we love doing but also as a result we become less happy because 
we don't get to do the things that we love the most. So make the time, block out a time slot in your week's schedule to do something that you perhaps haven't done in a while that you absolutely love. If you love reading but you haven't had a chance, maybe during your lunch hour at work, go to a cafe, get some food or get a coffee, you know, bring a book and just read for half an hour. As I said, you have to make your happiness a priority and you have to schedule in a time to do things that you love. Tip number four, challenge yourself to see the positive in every single situation. Now you may be thinking, Gabby, every single situation, to see a positive in every single situation? Yes, every single situation. Somebody drove into the back of your car, you stepped in a pile of poo, you spilled some coffee on your favorite shirt, your boss gave you a shitty comment, it doesn't matter what the situation is, see at least one positive thing in that situation. Now, me, because I've been doing it for so many years, any situation you give me, I will still manage to see the positive. I feel like that's how I trained my mind to think, you know? Doesn't matter how shitty the situation is, I'll see the positive. So challenge yourself. If your boss gave you a really shitty comment or you know if you have a shitty boss, what is a positive that you know you can see in the situation? Well, for a starter, be happy that you are not your boss. You know, if your boss is so shitty and you know he makes you feel like crap, be happy you're not him. Because you know, hopefully you don't make other people feel like crap. So yay, you are not your shitty boss. You know what I'm saying? Challenge yourself, do it, no matter how simple, no matter how hard. Even if it's like the silliest, most lame thing you can think of, as long as you think of something even a tiny bit positive out of a shitty situation, good job. Tip number five. Now I feel like it's not maybe really a tip, but more of a knowledge thing, like something you should know, is that happiness can only happen in the present moment. So a lot of people chase happiness, you know, they say, when I get this thing, I'll be happy. When I get that promotion, I'll be happy. When I make this amount of money, I'll be happy. Get that toned, lean body, I'm gonna be happy. But that's not how it works. You cannot chase happiness. Happiness can only happen in the present moment. You generate your own happiness. You create your own happiness. Happiness is not in the future. Happiness is not attached to a thing or to a person. And now I know you're gonna say, yes, Gabby, but this, I'm filming a video and now you're gonna beep. There's a car. Rude. I need to wait just a second. Happiness is not attached to a person. Happiness is not attached to a thing. Happiness is not in the future. And now I know you might say, Gabby, but that person makes me really happy. And you know, that thing that I have makes me really happy. That is amazing. That's great that that person makes you happy, but your happiness should not be attached to that person or to that thing. If you have like a little ball, oh, maybe that's gonna become a, maybe that's a good metaphor. I don't know, I'm, I'm improvising. So. If you have a, like a little ball and inside of it, it's happiness, right? Just like bear with me for a second. So you have a little ball and inside of that ball, you have happiness and you always carry that ball with yourself and you're like, oh, this is my happiness. I have it with me. It makes me very happy. But can you imagine if somebody like just snatched that ball out, out of your hands and, you know, ran away and they stole your happiness? That'd be very shitty because you may not be happy ever again. That's like some serious... I'm saying right now. So it's great that people make you happy. It's absolutely amazing that you know certain things make you happy, but you just have to remember that happiness only comes from you. You generate your own happiness, you create your own happiness. It is only in the present moment. You can say, you know, when I get that thing or that promotion or when I am with that person, I'll be happy. But then when you reach that point of having that thing or, you know, being with that person, there are gonna be other things that you'll want that will make you happy. So like you're always chasing this thing and you never seem to catch it because it's always ahead of the game, it's always ahead of you and that is not true. You are like a generator, you are like a power plant, you create your own happiness and happiness is in the present moment. 
there are so many things to be grateful for. There are so many things to be happy about. I hope you realize that. I hope at least one of these tips help you even if it's just one person that is, you know, touched by this video or even if it's just one tip that, you know, inspires you, I did my job. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Um, yes, Friday. Everything health, fitness and motivation related. Bye.